Hello, New Marines. Welcome back to PX Planet X. Today is January 15th. I got a couple of photographs here sent from my subscriber, Kool Aid. I want to give a shout out to you, and I want to give a shout out to Re Relentless for helping me touch up some a little bit of this photographs. What I'm going to show you today is a possible comet planet or a possible comet by the sun. As you can see right here, we have the object right here. This is like a comet tail of debris. I'm going to show you another photograph. We're going to go looking down here. As you can see right here, we could do some brightness and contrast right when we're done with this. When we go down right here to take a look again, you can see it again right here. And here's another object here too. You can see this right here. Come on guys, this thing is here. Look at that. One tail, another tail in the object. And we come down right here too. This is all taken yesterday. I'll take in San Diego. Here's the object right here too. And right here. And they're shutting down some of these web, uh, webcams too. And here's a touch up work that I did that relentless did for me. That's from the same object from the same photograph. But what we did is we took off brightness and contrast and this is the object that you get left. Everybody knows that when you do gamma ray when you do gamma ray on a photograph the heat stays and everything everything else the lens flares and all disappear that stayed right there then we got it again the one with the arrow it shows two objects here's one and two this is uh <laughs> getting really serious ladies and gentlemen this is getting pretty freaky out there and then i'm pretty sure you guys saw these already we got something in here right by the moon there's like a object here with the tail or something and that's how you want to call it. You look down here too. It looks like it has a, a tail, like it's going down. Remember, this is going retrograde. It's not going the same way as our as our sun. You can see it here more better, like right here, tail going down. Always got some. I even got some. Here, here we go again. Here's to let you guys know. Here it is again. This. I got some photographs here too that I want to share with you guys. Maybe some of you guys have seen these or not, but I got this photograph. Shows what seems to be a second sun. have this photograph here too this is the one that got astonishing because this is exactly what me and Olsen been getting of, of video footage and photographs we've been getting this like practically every other week now and this object happens to be something up there <sighs> it's like it's kind of hard to say what it is because we could say it's a not it's a planet but then again it could be an object it could be even part of the cloaking mechanism you know it could be anything up there because I know right now we're seeing all kinds of uh, all kinds of objects up there that is kind of hard to explain I'm just excited by all these photographs and I have this one right here too with all this you can tell the sun's shining off or something's bounce it's bouncing off light and I have this one here too. The person gave me. The person put their name on it. You know, I told them for them to put their name on it. That's what I'm gonna start doing now. All the people who gave me their photographs and all, I'm gonna have them start putting their name, or I'm gonna put their name on it. So in case anybody tries to go ahead and you know say it's their photograph, try to strike me, can't. It has their person's name on it. Now I took this one myself. You can see right here, the lens array, how big it looks in the back. I believe this to be our prism. I'm being honest, I believe this to be our prism. And here's our all the the hexagon lens arrays all around the area. Let me tell you guys, to, to, to defeat the system now, it's so easy. It's so easy to bend light. It's not hard guys, it's not hard to bend light. If you guys all need to know how, I'm gonna try to do a live show, a live show or not, just do a video showing how to bend the light. It's not hard to bend the light guys. Once you guys know how to start doing it, you guys will love it because you guys are actually see what's behind there. Oh man, now that me and, um, Star Miller had been talking. We've been um, communicating more about the uh, objects and stuff. You know what's going back back out there. You know what we think is going on back there. We've been communicating, giving each other photographs, and we both are astonished with each other because she shows me stuff that I don't, that I can't believe. I wish I could show you guys some of her video work, but I don't do that. Um, and uh, we're gonna be doing a session pretty soon, and uh, we'll be showing you guys all all our work. But this is uh, exactly what we're seeing when we take a picture. You know, that big old object that has a hole somewhere around here on the side. As you can see, here's a line, and I'll see if I can find a photograph of it, too. But this is it right here. 
This is a line right here, and this is our cloaking division, cloaking mechanism. All this stuff has to do with cloaking mechanism, prism, your uh, disco ball, all that stuff. Everything's out there. Oh, I'll let you guys know that we have the green planet. It's out there. That's not a lens flare. That's an actual planet. It's not no lens flare. I just want to give a shout out. Sorry, guys. Give a shout out to Sean. Love you, boy. Love you, man. You're <laughs> that man's been 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 here with from thick and thin. Here it is again, just to let you guys know. Remember, you guys all know that's that's not a lens flare. That's an object. That's in the. I received these yesterday. As I said, we have the green planet. That's exactly what I said. We're gonna start seeing first is the green planet. From the green planet, we'll start seeing the purple planet, which is our Boda. This one is what we consider Her Harrington. The purple one is our Boda. The pink one is Helion. Then you got the blue one, which is Nebiru, and the red one, which is the one we call Ferrata. But then you got then you got to uh, consider you have Inanna, which is our Boda's white disc, uh, white moon that we're seeing. The one that we're seeing, that white disc, that's what you consider Inanna. That's a white disc. Hear me, Inanna. It's I N A N N A E Anan Iana, Inanna or Inanna. Trying to remember how to pronounce that. And then you have another one that's yellowish, orange. It's called Quayar. And these are all the photographs, ladies and gentlemen, that I wanted to share with you guys. I don't know. Time is coming short. You know. To me, I feel like time is going to be coming up short. But then again, we uh, we could speculate, assume, but none of us are going to get it right. That's why it says right there in scripture, not no man knows a day and time. But all I have to say is that things are getting crazy out there, and we all need to be out there for one another. Just want to tell you guys, I love you guys. Care about all you guys. Thank you, all my subscribers and all. You guys are great. Shout out to every single one of you guys. Every single one of you. I love you all, my never ruinians. That's what you guys are called, my never ruinians. This is not considered PX show. This is considered all of all our show. If I put a photo, a video up here, regardless of who's in it or not, all of us are participating in this. Every single one of you guys. I'm including every single one of you guys. I love every single one of you guys out there. I want to thank you guys all for you guys' support, kind words, loving words, you know, prayers, lovable emails that I've been getting. Love you guys. Until then, guys, take care. God bless. And we'll see you guys. Bye-bye.